Allahu Akbar, may Allah protect us. We don't know anything. We have no clue. Let me give you one other example. This I was told by one of the mashayikh. He says, there was a man who was fulfilling salah. And he was an irregular, but he made his tawbah and he came to the masjid. So he arrived at Salatul Fajr. And I hope my brothers and sisters that not a single one of us misses Salatul Fajr tomorrow morning. Is that a promise? By the will of Allah. You know, inshallah means two, three things. I, I'm sure you're awake. <laughs> if you say inshallah, then you say, are you coming to my house? I say inshallah. Then when they don't come, you say, did I say yes? I just said inshallah. <laughs> you got to say yes, inshallah. So are we ready tomorrow morning Fajr? And the other four salahs as well. <laughs> Mashallah. Not just Fajr. Okay. So this man walks in for Salatul Fajr and he's standing. And the Imam starts reading Suratul Baqarah. Okay. He reads Suratul Baqarah. And it's a nice long surah. You know, Suratul Baqarah is very long. So this man is standing and he's thinking, hey, this Imam is reading long. Now, one of the cries of the masjid, my beloved Imams who lead the salah, do not over lengthen your salah. Stick to that which is Sunnah. And understand it and realize that when you lengthen your salah, sometimes you are discouraging the weak ones behind you from coming for the next salah. So if you are standing and reading beautifully and the microphone is good and mashallah, everything is beautiful and nice and the weather is beautiful and you are just prolonging, prolonging. There are some of those Surah Baqarah people at the back, you know. <laughs> so you need to remember they are still a bit weak, you know. So that is one of the cries of the masjid is, you know, calm down, cool it a little bit. Maybe you rather read a bit shorter so they come back. And we don't want to read quick in a way that we are insulting Allah. You know, taraweeh time in the house of Allah. Many of the Imams, they read like a concord. That's why they have stopped the concord now. Do you know that? <laughs> concord is blocked, banned, finished, no more. All of them that are still there, they are just in museums because it's too fast. We have concord salah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, what is that? You are insulting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather read short and clear than to read long and unclear and insult to Allah. Who said you have to finish the Quran? To finish the Quran is a sunnah which is very great, but not at the expense of speed, never ever. Remember that. And this I'm addressing us as Imams who lead in the masjid. People say, I went and I listened to the whole Quran. That man used to finish taraweeh in 10 minutes. Oh, what did you hear? You just heard the humming of a bee, that's all. Like a sound of a mosquito coming to your ear. And that's all you knew. May Allah protect us. So this man came in for salah and he's reading the Surah Al-Baqarah is being read. And he, at the end of the salah, you know, he looked at the man next to him, nudged him. He says, hey, this Imam read very long. Which Surah did he read? So he says, it is called Surah Al-Baqarah, which means the cow. And it is the longest Surah in the Quran. So he said, okay, now I must ask before I start my salah, which surah is being read? <laughs> so Al-Baqarah was very, very long. So now he came for salat al-Maghrib, the poor fellow, and he started Allahu Akbar. So Imam finished Walad Dalin and he starts, he starts, Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabil fil. So this man nudges the other one and says, you know what, before you start, what surah is this? He says, this is the elephant, Al-Feel. <laughs> So that man says, if Bakara was so long, I'm sure the field must be even longer. Let me go away. My brothers and sisters, remember, this is the attitude and mentality of some of the public because they are weak. So he says, no, this is one of the shortest surahs in the Quran. The reason I'm saying this, many reasons, there are many benefits for all of us. But one of them is, we have not yet made an effort to know the surahs and their meanings. That is why we do not achieve the sweetness within the salah. I have had occasions where I have led personally some long salawat of Salatul Fajr and some people have come to me and told me, Sheikh, you should have read even longer. The meaning was so powerful. Subhanallah, that is the type of statement we need. But we don't know the meaning, we're not bothered. Like I always say, we've studied so many books in order to achieve all those ology degrees we spoke about moments ago. But we haven't studied the one book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nor have we studied the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It requires an effort. It requires dedication. It requires time of work. It requires a lot. You have no guarantee that you will live to old age when you can do that. So let's do it as soon as we can.